Hey, how we doing? It's Juicy here, Quick Stream TV, episode 23. Now, today we're gonna have a little chat about something which is a little bit taboo because people don't like talking about it, and that's failure. And, and people don't like failure because they, they feel like it's a bad thing, but in fact, failure isn't bad at all. A little thing we say, failure isn't fatal. And why do we say that? What a big thing with failure and why it can be a very good thing is if we learn from it. If we get, have failure and don't learn from it and keep repeating mistakes again and again and again, obviously we're gonna go absolutely nowhere. But we're in a sport at the moment in cricket where the training angle and the rehab from a lot of injuries is still fairly much in infancy because we've not got a grasp of it. We don't know exactly the right way to do things in order to try and get rid of stress fractures at the back for first bowlers and a lot of other injuries. So we have to go step by step and see what works. But when you do this sort of thing, some things don't work. And when they don't work, you've tried it and you can bin them. If it works, brilliant. And then we know a little formula for next time, for the next player who has similar injury, that we can work on with them. So that's why failure isn't fatal. We know then in the step-by-step -step process how we can help and how we can't help. Because the end goal, definitely for, for me and the guys I work with, is we want to get to a place where we can produce cricketers and fast bowlers in particular, who can steer clear of these injuries which are robbing them of a season, two seasons, or even in some cases careers. Because we want to see these players flourish. And if we can learn from what we do all the time and keep getting better and better, then happy days. We're going to see a lot more players come through. So if you need our help, remember, head over to cricketstrength.com and we'll be there to help you. And we'll speak to you next time.